Hi, welcome to another edition of Between Two Ferns. I'm your host, Owen Wilcock. My guest today is Dean Andrew Lick Lickerman. Thank you so much for joining us. How do you enjoy being the Dean of LSE? Actually, it's uh, LBS, and by the way, it's a school you go to, and I enjoy it very much, thanks. It, it says here LSE. I'm quite sure it's LBS. Yeah, BS is all right. Let me ask you a question on leadership. Sure. There's a nuclear bomb planted somewhere on campus, and the only way you can save LBS is by sacrificing one faculty department. Which do you choose? Yeah. I mean, you can't go statistics, obviously, because they need to run a regression analysis on where the bomb might be. Um, any other thoughts? Is it entrepreneurship? Wait, don't answer that. If it is entrepreneurship, just wriggle your right ear while the camera's looking at me. So as Dean, you must get the chance to experience some pretty interesting student events. Yeah, it's true. I do. And there's a brilliant one coming up. It's called Tattoo. Oh boy, here we go. It's LBS's largest cultural events with 20 live performances from clubs and student bands and entertainment all night long. Mm, that sounds expensive. No, it isn't. It's only £39. I haven't been paid to say this. Yeah, I don't really care. So how much money of this £39 has been taken out to put another legal pain on that white place of yours? Zero. And actually, Owen, it all goes towards running the event. Not to mention the unlimited food and drink and 20 plus stalls serving it. Speaking of which, I know a lot of students that get invited to drinks and dinner at your place. Why haven't I been invited yet? Well, Owen, it's confined to those who have made a real contribution to the school. Yeah, well, I mean, speaking of contributions, are you even going to be at Tattoo yourself? Are you sure you're not going to be off kissing a baby somewhere? Well, actually, I'm going to be there judging the talent competition with my wife, Mera. So I'm really interested to see what's going to happen. Yeah, uh, judging does sound tough. You're sitting in a chair, holding up some numbers. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm actually Master of Ceremonies, which I think involves a little bit more work. Your Master of Ceremonies? They must have had a very, very short list to, to pick you, but I'm sure the others will be great. Can you clear up a rumour as well? I heard that you wanted to get three dogs and name them who, what, how. How do you think that would be as a strategy? How's the campaign going? Oh, I'm so glad you asked me about that. I could sure. go on about that for hours. Yeah. How all the student bodies really helped on it. Yeah. We've got faculty, we've got you know, so many people involved. It's been fantastic. Yeah, that sounds really, uh, really interesting. Uh, how are you going with the raising? Are you up to the target you're looking for? Yeah, we're ahead, of, we're ahead of the game. Yeah? Yeah. Did you see that? Pink Gorilla? No, you were telling me about the campaign and watching the basketball. No, it's a Pink Gorilla. I mean, I've, I've, I know the case study. Your term finishes up in two years, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Have you made an appointment yet with Career Services? Uh, no, you know, I haven't thought about that. Uh, Drop-in session, one-page CV review, nothing? No. Oh boy. Look, I don't like to be the person to give this kind of feedback, but you're going to have to start thinking about this at some point. I know you're enjoying a lot of school life right now, being judged at Tattoo, it's all fun and exciting. Your friends aren't going to get your jobs. You can't just pick up the phone, that's not how it works. Everybody thinks that. What if you've outgrown your old company? Who did you used to work for? Barclays. They might not even need you anymore. I mean, I'm, I'm really grateful for your advice, but just one thing, you know, I wouldn't take up interviewing if I were you as, a, as the next job. All right, all right, I think it's time to wrap this up. Before we finish, I think our viewers would love to know whether you have one. Uh, what? A tattoo. Uh, I don't think that's the kind of tattoo we're talking about. Well, uh, I have one. It's actually a uh, replication of the Cap-M model on my, you know what, would you like to see it? Yeah.